mushrooms on Mars again. Yeah, yeah, you heard it here first, or maybe second, or maybe third. Houston, we have a problem. I don't know, hilarious for so many reasons. First off, a big thank you for joining me. As always, I do greatly appreciate it. Now, I've done some Mars videos in the past, and we will uh, look at one of those. Maybe people remember this video called uh, Simulated Mars Environment on Devon Island, Curiosity Images. Are NASA fakes? In this video, I showed you where you could go to a certain spot here on Google Earth in Devon Island, which is up in northern Canada. Uh, basically, once I searched around, I found some images of this simulated Mars environment. As you can see, it looks so much like Mars. But, uh, yeah, and I've talked about this particular issue here before as well. So we're going to get into that. Let's go ahead and uh, jump over to this article and read from it. Uh, Mars rover takes photos of mushrooms growing on the surface of the red planet. Uh, this is from the mirror.co.uk. Actually, I'll put this in the description after. I forgot to grab that link. Just so you can see where I'm coming from. Let's read a little bit here. Make sure everybody's on the same page. Yes, we're all good. All right, great. So let's read this. Uh, it says, the curious shapes seem to be emerging from beneath the planet's surface. Uh, new photographs of Martian mushrooms have left some scientists convinced that there is life on the red planet. A new study published in the Journal of Astrobiology builds upon 15 images captured by NASA's Curiosity rover as part of its two years mission. Uh, this is just hilarious because the thing was not supposed to be a two year mission, but uh, it's gone way, way beyond what it was planned for. But again, with NASA, anything's possible. So as part of its two year mission, Curiosity trained its camera on what appears to be algae, lichen and mushrooms. The photos seem to show the potential life forms growing larger and emerging from the red sands of Mars. See, this is the problem is that there's actual images of these things uh, being much smaller and then slowly they grow. So that's called life. That's how life works. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's continue on. It says, Dr. Regina Das, a microbiologist from Pondicherry University in India, argued that no known non-living force could have produced the apparent growths. We'll continue on. Uh, it says, many scientists believe Curiosity rover may have captured images of mushrooms. Uh, she told the Express, there are no geological or other abiogenic forces on Earth that can produce sedimentary structures by the hundreds, which have mushroom sh shapes, stems, stalks, and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. No, that's because only mushrooms do that, and that happens only on Earth. So hopefully people start to realize, no, they won't, they don't realize it, they fight it. In fact, 15 specimens were photographed by NASA growing out of the ground in just three days. So these things are coming out of the ground on Mars, folks. Give me a freaking break. NASA is yet, yet to comment on the research. Of course they are because they're in a quandary. You know, they just want to drive around and take pictures of Devon Island. They don't want you to accidentally see that they're taking pictures of growth, of life here on Earth, because then that will, the gig's up. Once people realize, oh, these images are just images of Earth. This is nothing special. This is mushrooms growing on Earth, folks. It happens all the time. Go out in your front grass. You'll probably find a few today. Uh, so, of course, they've yet to comment on the research, but the majority of experts involved in the peer review process agree with this mushroom hypothesis. The suspected algae, lichen, or mushrooms growing on the outside of a rock. See, the problem is when you're faking these images from places on Earth, you have to be really careful. You have to make sure that you never accidentally show any plant life, uh, someone's got to keep it cleaned up. Well, somebody just missed the fact that there's some mushrooms growing on these rocks. It has long been thought that the surface of Mars was uninhabitable. However, it may be that the conditions are better below the surface. Uh, you know, they have this Mars rover. Why don't they just drill and check? You know, they got all this equipment. They've got this Mars rover, this rover on a planet. It's just, it's all, uh, it's just hilarious. There's no remote control craft on Mars, folks. Give me a freaking break. Mars is nothing more than a wandering star. People have noticed it for hundreds, thousands of years. Okay, What's not true is that it's a planet like Earth and that people can live there and that robots go there and that they are remote controlled around and can pick up specimens and shoot with their razor lasers. No, that's not real. Six independent scientists and eight senior advisors or editors scrutinized the report. Three rejected the evidence and 11 recommended publication after certain revisions. The journal's official position is evidence is not proof and there is no proof of life on Mars. Make sure people uh, get that. Evidence is not proof. Many people think uh, that the evidence is proof. You know, I got all this evidence that the Earth's a sphere, of course, right? 
Abiogenic explanations for this evidence can't be ruled out. Uh, other scientists have argued that the specimens are not algae, lichen, or mushrooms, but hermatite, a form of iron oxide. All right, so that's basically the, the story. Uh, but again, this has been going on for a long time, and I've actually pointed it out numerous times before. And I've talked about this guy. His name is Ron, like Sean, but R-H-A-W-N, Ron Joseph. Uh, you know, I don't agree with a lot of what this guy says because he believes that there's actually a craft on Mars. So what did he do? He went to court, took NASA to court. This was in 2014, here, filed January 17, 2014. And he's claiming that there were images that were taken by the Curiosity rover that showed a little tiny spore growing. And then over the next couple days, it grew. It is a mushroom. It was a mushroom growing on a rock. He pointed this out. But his problem is, well, why isn't NASA going back and taking images of this? Why isn't NASA screwing it? They found life on Mars. Well, of course they haven't found life on Mars. They're not on Mars. So if people remember, I've talked about it before. I emailed this uh, Joseph, this Ron Joseph, and, uh, you know, talked to him. One of the things that he stated, and we'll look at this in a little bit, but one of the things that he stated was after he filed this report, and he lives in San Jose, California, which is very near to where NASA has some headquarters, uh, after he uh, filed this lawsuit, he said two men in black suits and, in, in, you know, in shirt and tie suits uh, came to his door and told him that it was in his best interest to drop the lawsuit. Okay, that's what he was told. And then a few days later, he goes out into his backyard and as crazy as this sounds, littered all over his backyard were a bunch of mushrooms is just hilarious who is doing that who's taking mushrooms and going and dumping them on this guy and by the way this guy is a phd scientist uh the problem with him is is he believes that nasa is on mars so if you believe that then of course when you see pictures of mushrooms you you're led to believe oh well then there's life on mars but he can't grasp why would nasa not go back and investigate this why would they not take closer pictures what well because then the gig is up that's what people need to recognize. There is no craft on Mars, period. It's just that simple. Now, again, people can believe what they want. People can believe anything. And by the way, as I always say, do not believe me. Do not trust me. Do not trust this video. Do your own research. If you want to believe that NASA is controlling a remote control car that was supposed to last a year or so, and now every time it comes up, they say, oh, we need another you know, couple million dollars to keep this, this thing going, uh, and then they're granted the money. Uh, by the American government or, you know, that comes from taxes, people's money. And they just keep perpetrating this hoax that there's some sort of craft on Mars that is receiving some, and this thing is huge. It's like bigger than a car and it's running off of solar power from Mars being controlled by people at their little consoles. Remember folks, these guys all sit at these NASA consoles and they respond and they work with data. The data comes, they don't see anything. They, yeah, so, so some images come across. Big deal. Who proves where those images came from? Well, they, well, they came out of this computer program. The computer program says that the rover sent them. Yeah, but again, you don't know where those images came from. Anybody can put those in and say that they came from the NASA. Not anybody, but anybody who was involved at NASA can do that if they really wanted to perpetrate this hoax, which is exactly what's going on. People just want to believe. They want to believe that there's life out there. That, uh, you know, the, the, these planets are real, that one day Elon Musk will go there and you'll get to go with him. You can go there. You can live off potatoes just like your, you know, Matt Damon. It's very easy. So anyway, he's already, you can read this article again. I'm going to copy this and put this in the description as well. So you can follow on with this NASA lawsuit. By the way, I will check the uh, super chats here in a second. Thank you so much for those who have already sent some in. I appreciate that greatly. It helps keep this channel going. Thank you guys so much. And again, always thank you to my patrons. Uh, you know, without them, this channel wouldn't exist. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, you got this Ron Joseph that's already filed this. And we've talked about it before. We've already said this before. I've emailed the guy and said, dude, do you realize that they're on Earth? That's why they find mushrooms. Of course, he didn't respond to me uh, because it would break his whole paradigm. Everything he's about is everything that NASA says is real. And he just can't grasp the idea of why wouldn't NASA stop and take him? And of course they should. It makes no sense. If there's something growing, imagine there's something growing on the surface of Mars. In fact, you're able to see it grow in several successive pictures. Then wouldn't NASA go over there with their little remote control car, steer it back over there, get its little tool and maybe mess with it and see what's going on there? No, of course not. They don't want to do that. 
That's not their job. Their job is to make you believe that you live on a sphere and that there's other spheres out there and that we can send craft to them. Tell me this. Why wouldn't there be a remote control car on the moon? This thing takes pictures and everything. Why not just have a remote control craft on the moon? Wouldn't it be easier? Why wouldn't you have that? No, you don't have that. You know, they went to the moon 50 years ago, supposedly, of course, but have never gone back. Of course. You know, it just makes absolutely no sense to anyone who can think. But again, you're free to believe what you want. You can believe in, in the space fantasy all you want. You can drop your money to them all you want. Keep funding NASA with $56 million a day. Uh, and what do you get in return? Well, you get pictures of mushrooms on Mars, but they won't investigate any carefuler. Crazy. This is the uh, another article uh, talking about the man who sued NASA. Uh, this is the Ron Joseph PhD. This is back in January 2014. You can see here where this particular mushroom uh, grew right here. What does NASA say? NASA says that it actually got, e this is a rock, and it got ejected somehow from a nearby uh, asteroid hit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's just, uh, you know, the refusal to take close-up photos from various angles, the refusal to take microscopic images of the specimen, the refusal to release high-resolution photos is inexplicable, recklessly negligent, and bizarre, the lawsuit claims. It is all of those things, but when you're taking photos from Earth and telling people that they're from the light in the sky, okay, then there's a big problem. The problem is that they can't go back. Of course they're going to refuse to take microscopic images of the specimen, of course, they're going to refuse to release high-resolution photos. It's not inexplicable when you realize that they're faking the entire thing. Then it makes all the sense in the world. So while all these people might be confused and all these scientists are out trying to decide and all these publications to trying to decide if these are mushrooms, if they're not, if they just realize that there's no craft on Mars, it's the end of the story. It's easy to figure out, you know. Any intelligent adult, adolescent, child, chimpanzee, monkey, dog, or rodent with even a modicum of curiosity would approach, investigate, and closely examine a bowl-shaped structure which appears just a few feet in front of them when 12 days earlier they hadn't noticed it. But not NASA and its rover team who have refused to take even a single close-up photo. Of course they have. Do people not realize that this explanation that I'm giving you excuse me, <clears throat> is quite possibly the only explanation that makes any sense? What, if, you, if you have a craft on Mars... And somebody spots, hey, that mushroom is growing. It wasn't there a few days ago. Now it's a little smaller. Now it's a little larger. Then, of course, NASA would immediately go over there and investigate. That's their job. That's their job. That's what they're supposed to be doing. But what do they do? Nope, they don't even acknowledge it. You know, they just hope it goes away. Why? Because it calls fraud on the whole thing. You know? Uh, the petitioner, Ron Joseph, Ph.D., claims that the donut-shaped object that appeared in front of the space tank is not, as NASA suspects, a piece of material kicked out by one of the machine's wheels. Uh, yeah, that makes no sense. Have you ever seen how slow that thing moves? It's going to kick out some piece of rock over to here that wasn't there before? Give me a break. Uh, also, they have funguses similar to those being found on Earth that have sprouted and grown. Yeah, of course, you know. Uh, the rock appeared in a 12-day period between camera shots taken by Opportunity. Now, again, what we're talking about is what was found in 2014, hence the name of this video, which is that they found mushrooms on Mars again. This is not the first time. There's a, they've already been taken to court over it. And now it just so happens that they're little images from Devon Island, or it could be the Atacama Desert. I don't know where they're at. Okay, Can't tell you where they're taking these pictures. They're taking the pictures from Earth. So, of course, every now and again, we have mushrooms that grow in strange places. And if you're not being careful and you're publishing these images and people are looking very careful because they're interested in what's going on in space and what's this Curiosity rover doing on this mystery planet. No, this is what happens. It, you get these mushrooms and they're from Earth and people are so brainwashed that there's no way they could believe that this hoax could ever be perpetrated. So what do they do? They, they have to now believe that these are mushrooms on Mars. And why doesn't NASA just come out and agree and say these are mushrooms? Because then it would take them investigating. Then it would take them taking close-up images. Then it would take them ripping them apart. And before you know it, people would realize this is just a mushroom from Earth. This is nothing more than that. Um, yeah, so, you know, this guy was demanding that 100 high-resolution pictures be taken of the object by the Opportunity rover, which, again, would be done without question if the whole idea of Mars and the rover and these things being spotted was true, you know? Now, you know, Ron Joseph, it even has people coming to his house 
in, in suit and tie and telling him to drop the lawsuit or else. And yet he still is so strung out on this belief that there's this planet that we're on with a remote control car that he can't get it. So even I've already told him, I emailed him and told him exactly what it is. Said these pictures are being taken from earth. The mushrooms that you're spotting are from earth. Okay. Uh, he lists in his lawsuit, many qualifications in his 30 years of science. He's published many articles. He claims to invented the term astrobiology, <laughs> a whole bunch of other things. This is judging from his website. Uh, yeah. Brain mind. I think I have that scheduled up here. Um, of course, NASA says it's an ongoing legal matter. We are limited in what we can discuss about the filing. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. Let's go on to this post here. Another post from February 5th, 2014, Life on Mars. That's Ron Joseph's theory, and he wants NASA to investigate that rock. But again, NASA never went back. They just sent somebody to his house and told him, you better not file that report. You better not file that. Uh, you better pull back that lawsuit. And as far as I know, he did. And I'll have to do a little bit more research on that and remember, I don't remember if he told me that or if it was something I read, but uh, the lawsuit, I believe, was dropped. So we'll have to do some more research into that. Um, but it's just craziness that people want so bad to believe all this that they'll just run to it. So this is Brain Mind, which I believe is the, uh, might be the official website, I believe, of Ron Joseph, PhD. Is that what it said? Yes, Ron Joseph, PhD. So uh, you'll see here in May 2016, Dr. Joseph provided evidence and reported that 40 experts in fungi, 30 experts in geomorphology, after examining photos of Martian specimens taken by NASA, formed a statistically significant consensus that there is a high probability of life on Mars. No, what they did is they realized that there's a high probability of life on Earth. Congratulations, science. Thank you for telling us that. A lot of us didn't know. I had no way of looking around and figuring out that mushrooms can grow on rocks and grow in the grass and grow coming out of your sidewalk. And yeah, mushrooms are amazing where they can pop up uh, if you're not paying attention and you're just driving around a little remote control car somewhere in the Atacama Desert, somewhere on Devon Island. Well, then, yeah, guess what? You might accidentally take some photos of some mushrooms or take some photos of a rock a few days earlier, a few days later. Now there's some things, some spores growing on there. Why? Because it's on Earth. <laughs> That's It's that simple. But again, people want to believe so badly in this. So yeah, you can check out his website. I'm also going to include this in the description. Okay, grab that. Uh, he's got a partial listing of his scientific publications. Uh, you can go through these. Uh, he also has his biography in here. Um, but again, somebody like this that believes deeply in the ideas of the universe, believes deeply that, uh, of course, here, quantum cosmos and micro universe, black holes, gravity, elementary particles, the destruction and creation of matter. Um, somebody who believes that deeply cannot just get it through their head that these images are images of mushrooms on Earth. He has to believe in the universe that he's been taught. And again, many people do. Many people cannot wrap their head around it uh, that we may have been all lied to because it's too big of a, of a lie. But if you make a lie big enough and tell it enough and teach it to children before they're able to think, then guess what? That lie can quickly become the truth to many people. And then if you teach people that other ideas are ludicrous, um, then guess what? You have a whole group of people that uh, basically shame you into thinking anything different or shame you when you do think anything different. Uh, here's the uh, high probability of life on Mars consensus of 70 experts, and I don't disagree with them. That there's These 70 experts have reviewed the photos and said, yep, those are mushrooms. But again, they're mushrooms on Earth. And this is the one thing that all of these experts miss. Because they're taking, they're looking at images taken by the NASA Curiosity rover, the remote control car on Mars. It's ridiculous. So yeah. So anyway, like I said, I don't agree with a lot of what this guy says, but uh, certainly is interesting that he found the mushrooms. He found he, he filed a lawsuit against NASA and was told to drop it, drop the lawsuit. So as far as I know, I don't believe that lawsuit ever did anything or went anywhere because he dropped it. So instead, he's publishing these papers. He's getting all of these. Um, experts, you know, to, to have a consensus on the fact that there must be life on Mars. Absolutely and totally ridiculous in pretty much every way. But again, people want to believe it. That's the problem. Um, so yeah, so you can look up uh, this story. It's all over the news right now, or at least I saw it quite a few places. Um, but certainly now that they're finding these images of mushrooms on rocks on Mars, 
well, now people are coming again and saying, hey, what's going on? These are mushrooms on Mars. They're growing. In different pictures, you can actually see them change sizes. Why were they not here three days ago, but now they're here? Well, what does NASA do? They just keep quiet. Why? Because they don't need to say anything. People believe in them. People love them. It doesn't matter what NASA does. NASA doesn't have to go back to the moon. They don't have to go back to the moon. Why? Because people don't, don't require it. People don't even question them on it. The majority of the world allows NASA to exist doing nothing for humanity. Supposedly, there's a craft in orbit of the Earth for the last 20 years, 19 years, yet they've never provided a 24-hour video footage of the Earth. Give me a freaking break, okay? It's just ridiculous. So yeah, mushrooms on Mars again, and they'll be found again as long as they keep driving around Earth and taking pictures and telling people they're from Mars. Well, then people will continue to find mushrooms on Mars because mushrooms grow where? They grow on Earth.